Okay, Cancer, so this is your reading. And for clarifications, I may uh, need some. I am pulling these little mini cards. I love these from the Tarot of the White Cats. So, um, I'm getting uh, quite a bit of information here. Let me move this a little forward so you can see it better. I'm kind of doing a different spread. It's a, it's a spread that I kind of used to do. Um, I feel that some of you may be going through some legal issues in May, and I feel like this really has something to do with a separation or divorce. This is not, I don't feel a surprise. This is something that some of you have been working on. I also, though, am getting something about legalities with writing. So I don't know if you're writing a book, writing a screenplay, uh, journaling, but there's something about writing. The other thing is, okay, so that may be publishing, copywriting, trademarks, could even be for a website. Like you're getting legalities and things arranged. I really feel like balance and structure are going to be of importance. Uh, I feel like there's a situation where you're going back and forth and back and forth or somebody is going back and forth. And this could be regarding love where there's some type of, mm, I'm getting like either an addiction or some kind of toxicity and it's possibly this person keeps coming in and out of your life. I don't feel like this is you, but it could be when reading for so many people. So let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. So I'm going to just set these over here. Let's see if we need them. May 2018, Cancer. All right, let's take a look. I have the Six of Wands, so there may be energy of a fire sign, or a fire sign may be of significance, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you may be on the cusp. I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed in May, or there's something for you to look at more closely. I also feel... With the word structure and support, that maybe there's lack thereof. You almost feel like, you know, there's, like you're taking things on. And be careful of taking things on too much. Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune here. This is also in the challenge position and this is also in the past position. So the fact that... You know, I was talking about writing. When I look at this card, this is usually, well, not usually, but often my writer's card. And you, some of you may be dealing with writer's block. Um, there may also be some delays is what I'm getting. Something about delays of something moving forward. Just remember there's ebbs and flows. Uh, hang in there. I feel like things will uh, turn around. That's the feeling that I'm getting. It, it's just going to require some patience. And um, I think that even some of you may be taking on something in a spiritual way. You might be starting a spiritual website or uh, or even doing some type of spiritual work like this. Or I'm also getting a mentorship. So I'm focusing on kind of general information first, and then I'll get to the love part, okay? The nine of pentacles, yeah. So... What I'm getting here is I feel like uh, 
First of all, I feel like be careful of the money situation or that finances may be kind of a bit up and down, up and down, or maybe some of you are also feeling like you're taking on a lot and there's not a lot of support around you, as I stated earlier. Like things are off balance. Maybe you're putting in energy here and energy here and energy here. And, you know, again, taking on too much at once. <laughs> okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. So something is promising. Promising is coming in. Something promising is what I wanted to say. Again, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus may be of significance. Uh, I also get uh, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, um, and Taurus is part of the Earth, Earth sign. So is Leo. Um, so this could be a new offer that's coming in. Money is coming in by the end of May. Could also be um, a new job. So where maybe you weren't feeling, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs or taking on a lot. You know, oftentimes the Ace of Pentacles for me does also represent health. So I feel like some of you are on the path to something that may lead long term. All right. So... I want to see what's underneath here, though. Ah. The death card. So you're really going through a big transformation. Something is ending so that something new can begin. And some of you are even possibly thinking of moving is what I'm getting. I'm getting something about transitioning, transitioning to a new phase in your life, uh, a new stage in your life. This may also be that something has ended. Um, could be a job, could be a relationship, so that something new can begin here and something that's going to be long term. Now, in order for this to happen, you may need to kind of revisit the past and let go of the past. So this could be a past situation or a person from the past. I want to go ahead and pull. Okay. I want to pull two cards. Okay. We're going to put this one down there. And we're going to pull one more for over here. Okay, there we go. All right. What just, some cards just flipped over. Oh, wow. We have the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely endings. And it could be with an air sign is what I'm getting. <laughs> Look what's underneath the nine of uh, pentacles, but it's in the upright position. So I feel like somebody is, you're almost like reclaiming your independence. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. The world card. I feel like the number three is of significance. So I don't know if this is like May 3rd. May 12th, because 1 plus 2 is 3. May 21st, May 30th, you know, those all become a 3. And we have an the, the Empress here. And if somebody has been kind of unsupportive of you or knocking you down, um, I'm getting something about communication. For some of you, I feel like... Um, Things will smooth over, but, oh, the lighting's so bad. I'm sorry. You can't really see these cards. Oh, gosh, I hope that doesn't fall. Okay. Um, I feel like there will be a smooth over temporarily. 
I, I feel like there's something that keeps happening over and over and it's like, you know, you start to feel better and then you don't feel good again. Now, th this could be health related, but I feel like this is love related. It's almost like I think that in some aspects, some of you are wanting something to end and so you might be single and then there's somebody from your past that keeps coming back. For others, I feel that there's a need to let go of this person from the past because it could be a situation where they keep coming back and forth, back and forth. They're kind of with this being in the challenge position. It's almost like it's in reverse. So there's something that's not finished. And there's something that with these two tens and with the death card that has to end so that you can move on again. And if it's a loss of some kind, I feel like this person would want you to move on when in due time, when you are ready. For others, I feel like when it comes to love, there could be news of a pregnancy is what I'm hearing. Oh, Nicholas just arrived here. I also get it, if there's been difficulties with getting pregnant, there may be news of things turning around. Now, I also feel like it may take some assistance with that. For others, when it comes to love, so if you're single, are you going to allow somebody from the past to affect you in a negative way, the way you look at love or allow new love to come in? If you're single, there may be somebody from the past that's trying to return you may have to deal with your past in order to move forward. It may also be that this person's having a hard time letting go of you. And for some of you, I think it could be when it comes to love, you want to get off the merry-go-round, you know, um... There may be a, a person that needs to make a decision. Now, for some of you, it could be that you need to make a decision regarding love. For others, I feel like you're tired of somebody going this back and forth, back and forth with this number three and the empress also right here and kind of in the challenge position. There could be a situation where there's a third person. Now, I always want to give this disclaimer because... Um, a third person does not necessarily mean infidelity or cheating. It can be that someone's got their eye on somebody. It could be that somebody has just broken up with somebody to be with you, but there's still energy of a third person that they haven't let go of, and it's now affecting your relationship. This may have happened even a while back. Doesn't mean that it happened last week. But I want to focus on the positive. This, to me, is, I think, by the time of Taurus, something beautiful will be coming in. Also, um, springtime is another thing that I'm getting. Could also be that you meet somebody in love, or it could be in the workplace. I'm also getting traveling, and I'm also getting online. So... These are just some messages that are coming through. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a beautiful month. Take good care of yourselves, okay? All right, bye.